Tell me you want to go all the way up. You got to work hard. Come on. Go. What can a person get through basketball? I mean, you see it on television. A $30 basketball can make you millions. I mean, there's a blueprint, but the main thing that I think of when it's trying to make it is just don't fake it. Don't fake the grind. You know, you look on Twitter, you look on Instagram, these kids are doing these drills with a trainer that they're probably paying $50 an hour or two and, and thinking they're going to make it. And that's the whole hype is making it, making it, making it. To me, making it is getting your college paid for um you know getting that grind to where you're helping your parents not have to pay for college but you can't fake it you gotta work you gotta work because every time that you're not working there's a kid out there that's really trying and I'm not saying kids out here have everything but you know they have enough to 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 do what they can do you know there shouldn't be no excuses to not be able to go to the gym no excuses to not be able to work hard and put everything on the line to make it. Aye. Yeah. Head west on 115th Street South, towards East Street South. I got me a driver now. Young nigga popping now. Aye. That mama had, I got me a bag. Aye. Oh, lady, it's Taylor, Aye, love. I got on my ass, she got me a bag, and I got plenty of on the bottom, you see, I can stand right from the bottom. Baby, just hop in. I got me a driver now. I know you got options. Check it, poppin' now. I got on my ass, got me a bag, and I have plenty of problems. Pop on the bottles, spill on the Tiagas, stand right from the bottom. Baby, just hop in. I got me a driver now. I know you got options. Check it, poppin' now. A lot of kids don't got it. It's that killer. You got that killer mentality. Uh, and one kid in our program really stands out with that killer mentality. Um, heaven. Show me some fancy coming off. Show me some fancy coming off. He has that killer mentality um, to the point where I feel nobody can stop him. You know, he's the only person that can stop him is himself, but it's hard to teach that. You really can't teach. A lot of kids can make a jumper. I know a lot of kids can make 10 out of 10, but does that mean if I put him in that game, he's going to score 30 points? Nah, you got to have the go. You can't be scared. You got you to gotta go at your defender. See a weakness, attack it. Yeah. 
can ask all the hoopers, shoot, if it wasn't for Nip, through that first year, two years of college, that's all we slapped was Nip. I remember bringing Nipsey, what was it, 2011, Avery and Isaiah brought Nipsey to Tacoma. Right there, he dropped the marathon tape. Probably a year after that, when it was still just getting, you know, rising to the top. You know, we brought Nipsey to Tacoma, and he was a real one. I mean, didn't have to worry about nothing when he was with Nipsey. Uh, I met him a few times, watched him perform every time he came to Seattle or Tacoma. Being around him with Isaiah, you know, Isaiah was a, a very good friend of his, but Nipsey helped everybody get through the struggle. Probably one of the best rappers to me in the West Coast. What's your name, man? Heaven Trio Hyphen Haywood. What team you play for? Team Bradley. Team Bradley. So what was you doing here today? Working out, trying to get better, trying to get to college, and trying to make a better players for my family and try to get to the NBA, try to get that money hey. to make a better life for my coaches, you guys, and my family. So you said NBA, so you playing basketball, right? Yeah. What you like about basketball, man? There's competition. Uh, if you're the best player out there, they'll give you the ball. and. You just gotta work hard and grind. Keep on grinding and get to that spot. You never know. What if, what if you come for a rec lead and you keep on grinding? They take some spot that's in, like that's ranked number one in the nation or ranked number three in the nation. Like you could take a spot if you keep on grinding and grinding. There's kids that, like I said, make ten out of ten, talking about nothing but net. But is that is that gonna come from? a workout to the game. You gotta be able to take what you work on into the game. Catch the vibe. For real, for real, for real. <laughs> uh. The destination is on your left. Nathan Hale High School. If me and I arrived. I'm watching TV, uh, yeah, I'm watching
touching me My wife's a booty, I never say cut She kissing my neck while I'm ripping up L She feeling for once, but she don't get enough Rollin', I'm rollin' it up Put some OG in the Dutch Tell my OG not your mom Put a head jet lag on my living room On the next flight, take it off soon Gotta keep the heat like the month June I'm an astronaut, ballin' on the moon Like space jam, no booty tunes Make you not feel like I'm MJ Feel like I'm making this game like I'm sensei Has to go hard on my own day This mood, this mood, I'm fallin' in love We too attached, there's no breakin' this up Run up these racks and she countin' them up I keep big bills, no change for real Sound through my niggas, this is the real For real, for real, for real I used to live in the Ville My mom used to shop at Goodwill What's your name? Uh, Dre Hart, they call me Coach Doc. So y'all just had a game, right? Yep, we just had a good game. Who'd y'all play? Just beat Rotary Black. Rotary Black, man, so what was your thoughts on the game? I thought we showed a lot of mental toughness. Uh, we started out 10-0, uh, came back, was tied up at half, and we went up about nine, and then it went on a 12-0 run. We was down three a couple minutes ago. Uh, I think that showed good boys and uh, learning to play together. All right, man, what's your name? Tyra. All right, so y'all just had a game, right? Yeah. Who'd y'all play? We played Rotary Black B team, fifth grade. How do you think you guys played as a team? Good, we worked hard. All right, so y'all was up about 10 points, right? And then they came back and then they was up three points. So what was you thinking when that was happening? Um, I had to take a deep breath and just just go hard and just play as a team, pass the ball and get a good shot off. So you had two key plays at the end. Talk about those two plays. Clutch three. A clutch three. I bad right there. And then I made it. What was you thinking about when you shot that three? Good. It was time to win? Yeah. Yep. All right, then what happened after that? Then we won the game. Now you had a you had a clutch layup. Oh too. yeah, clutch layup. And that was the real one. And then y'all won in overtime. Yeah. All right, man. Shout out to you. To basketballs made me who I am today. You know, I work hard. It taught me a lot. Not even about the the making it side, but taught me time management. Taught me responsibilities. Taught me how to, you know, being coachable on the outs on the outer side of the courts is you know being respectful. You know. Having a boss, you got to be able to be respectful to your boss. And basketball to me is just, it's, it's helped me become who I am. And younger kids, when they're growing and they, and it starts getting to sophomore, junior year in high school, and you start stressing, offers aren't there. That's when you know that, man, that if what you've been doing ain't been working. You got to grind, grind, grind. And I know there's kids that don't get good to their junior, senior year. But they've been working all the way till then, and those are the kids that end up being special, is the ones that put it put all on the line and grind. Mm.